Hello, Cancer. So welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancer, I've been spending some time outside tonight, so I am a little bit late with your reading, but man, it's so nice to get out into nature. I'm telling you. Um, anyway, Cancer, this reading is for the collective, so it may not resonate with all of you. Okay. Um, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Don't try to force it. You guys know the drill. You're pros at this. And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support, the likes, subscribes, um, being my peeps and my soul tribe out here, all the cool nicknames, the smiley face emojis, and all of the awesome things you say to me um, in the comments section. You guys, I love you. All right, so this is going to be a moon box reading, Cancer, but I do have some oracles out for you first. I know, I should have been on your moon box reading a couple of days ago. I know how you love them. Um, but I'm, I'll be on it tonight. Okay. Um, anyway, cancer, I feel like, um, uh, there's a masculine energy who is just kind of losing control, losing control of their anger. They're spending a lot of time, um, possibly drinking a lot, smoking a lot. Okay. Um, maybe hard liquor, you know, I, I feel like they're just trying to cope with their situation because they feel very stuck in a toxic situation while they dream about you. This is somebody who is physically with somebody else, but wishing for you, Cancer, okay? And here's the thing, right behind them, there's somebody sneaky, somebody toxic, um, who's trying to pressure this person to get married. And they really don't want to get married, okay? Um, so, yeah, um, they're they're about to get stuck into something here or maybe they've already gotten married and they hate it all right the only one that likes it is this karmic and i feel like they're only they may have only married this person possibly for money or um they're they're putting on some kind of pretend show to everybody in the community okay um, they may even be trying to post some pictures to kind of stick your nose in it or something, Cancer. I don't know. I don't think you're paying attention to them. I think you're just focused on you, building your abundance, collecting your wishes. Look at how beautiful your energy is. You're just beautiful. You know, I, I think this is um, Michael J. Fox's wife, actually. That's who that looks like to me. But yeah, I feel like um, you're just you're in the mood, uh, you're in the mode of um, receiving right now, okay? You're in receiving energy, focused on you, focused on your abundance, making things happen for yourself, doing a lot of manifesting, pulling in your wishes, all good things, Cancer. And this person, this masculine, either they're about to get stuck in a situation because of a, a wedding they're being pressured into, or... Yeah, I kind of get the sense that that's what this is. It's just, it's like a toxic marriage or a toxic wedding, something like that. But I feel like um, family is involved. It's almost like they're laughing at this person, okay? If you notice, they're, they're like laughing at them. Family, um, relatives, maybe in-laws. Um, the children even know that they're living a lie and they hate it well, with the person that they're with. This is definitely a karmic, somebody with dark energy, okay? Let me just pull a couple and then we'll break open the moon box. I know you guys love it. Um, I like it too. I really dig the moon box. Ooh, this is all coming out in reverse. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Yeah, this person feels very stuck. Um, oh boy, they feel very stuck. They know they got, they did something very risky. Um, they were very reckless, Cancer, and I feel like they've got me, they may have gotten them stuck here, themselves stuck, or they're about to. Okay, or they're about to get stuck. This is just too many cards coming out for your reading. Um, messages for Cancer. Look at them, they're coming out in clumps, you guys. They don't want to let you go. I feel like they're scared. Yeah, they don't want to let you go. You're their wish fulfillment. What did I say? Yeah, this person, they want to come towards you, but they're keeping that hidden. They're not letting anybody know how they feel right now, and they're getting to the point where they can't take it anymore. That's this right here. Same look on their face and everything. Look at that, Cancer. That is this. 
they can't um it's almost like they want to speak their truth so bad they want to come towards you so bad cancer you are the one for them they don't want to be with anybody else they just want to be with you and it's getting to the point where um they just can't take it it's and their rage is becoming uncontrollable this person's getting ready to pop they are they're getting ready to pop cancer okay clarify this wedding for cancer and you're in this beautiful earth angel energy empress in the minor arcana um, you're already at the Ten of Pentacles. You're this person's wish fulfillment. You're their ultimate. Um, you, they could have a dream life with you. Yeah, look, they're not happy because you know what? They know they should be with you. I feel like people talk this person into doing something here, into getting married or something. Um, they talked them into this, and I feel like they don't want to do it. Clarify this wedding. Are they already married or is this something coming up? Yeah, I feel like this person's already married. And heartbroken. Yeah, they're already, I feel like they just, maybe they just recently got married. And that situation's already under judgment. They already know they shouldn't be with that person. They should be with their soulmate connection here. Who they can't stop watching, by the way. Look at how this flipped up. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it just kind of like flipped over. Um, yeah, they want they want to make a different decision here. They want out. Cancer, this person wants out of the situation. Okay. Um for some of you, it could really go either way. I can see this as a, as a proposal to get married. Or I could see this as them already in a marriage that just started. Okay, so take it how it resonates with you. If this person proposed to this karmic man, they want to get out of this so bad. So bad. They do not want to marry this person. They only want you, Cancer, the Earth Angel, the Empress in the Minor Arcana, the Queen of Pentacles. They know that you're the one for them. Yeah. I feel like um, it could go either way. Either they're already married or they're planning a wedding. Okay. All right. So... You guys know the moon box, right? Filled with all kinds of goodies. I'm going to shake it up real quick, and then we're going to read the messages, okay? So cover, cover your ears. Okay. All right, releasing something here. Yeah, look, I feel like um, this person feels like they got stuck in a web of something here. Um, this is that karmic individual who's been sneaky, who um, I feel like they got framed or trapped or something. Okay, they, it's almost like they've gotten trapped in a, in a web, in a karmic web. And even the family is laughing at this person. Their family, their in-laws, their, their, um, they're laughing at them because they can see that this person is miserable. They can't stand this karmic individual that they propose to or, yeah, they're, let, they're wanting to let go of something here, okay? They're wanting to let go of this karmic. It's broken. They're not in love with the karmic. It's, it's not um able to be repaired between them and i feel like this person wants to come towards you yeah divine energy here they want to come towards a divine feminine or this earth angel they could be getting a lot of signs um from the divine okay they may feel like the karmic is going to hunt them down i i get the sense that um this karmic individual like watches their every move if this person leaves this wedding and 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 says they don't want to get married, um, this karmic's not going to stop. They're going to relentlessly chase after your person. 
no matter what, whether they're leaving a wedding behind or they're leaving a marriage behind. This karmic is not going to leave this person alone. And I feel like they may be praying for help here, like divine intervention here, Cancer, just to get out of the situation. They definitely don't want to be there anymore. I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah, critical thinking. And this is a, a critical thinking for a critical moment here. <laughs> um, this, is, this is important to the rest of their future and the rest of their life. If this person enters into a marriage and they know they don't want somebody, that is going to make for a very miserable, miserable future. And this person knows it. They need to make a decision. They need to choose a path, and I feel like they need to do it now. And um, they're being spiritually led to do it now. So this is a very important decision that your person is making. And they're being urged, you know, make the right decision for you. Not for everybody else, but for you. Follow your heart, okay? Um, looking for a new place. Yeah, I feel like this person is kind of scrambling now. Because they're going to have to move. They could have... Um, they could have a property or a home with this karmic already. Maybe they just purchased a place. They may have to downsize. They may have to move from their property, a home, into like a smaller apartment for a while. They may lose a property to this karmic. They're going to have to scramble to find a place to live, okay? feel like they're looking for a place here. Clarify sunshine. What's up with that? I'm getting the sense that somebody may have told them about a place to live or has offered them a place to live. It's definitely not going to be with family, so I'm guessing it's connected to a friend. The flyest fly on the wall. It may even be close to you, Cancer. This person may end up moving to your community or your neighborhood, okay, so they can be closer to you, so they can watch over you more. Okay, um, that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting here. This person is thinking about moving towards you, Cancer. Yeah, they're moving towards you. You're magnetic for this person. You're, you're, it's almost like your energy is calling them in. I feel like you're just focusing on you. You're focusing on you, your abundance, your business, um, your home, your family, your children. Uh, you're no longer focused on this person, but that's what's calling them in. <laughs> okay? <laughs> yeah, you're magnetic right now, and this person's being pulled to you. So um, I feel like they really want to move closer to you, Cancer. Okay? So be looking for this person moving into your neighborhood. For some of you, persevere. Done. I feel like, you know what, Cancer, I'm, I'm getting that this is maybe your energy here. You're just done with this connection. You've been through too much. You've had to persevere through so much BS, Cancer. And I, I feel like you're, you're closing out this cycle. You're not focused on them anymore. Um, if they move in your neighborhood, you may just move away here. For some of you, you're changing locations. This person may not even know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're trying to find a place that's as close to you as humanly possible. But you're, um, you may not want this connection back, okay? You're happy without this person. Uh, you're able to focus on yourself and, and earn all this abundance and, and um, open doors of opportunity for yourself. You're not getting messed with. You're not getting confused. You're not getting heartbroken. You're able to heal cancer. I feel like, you know, you're just better without this person right now. That's how you're thinking about it, maybe, because you're closing out the cycle. Yeah, into the past. I feel like you're done with the past, okay? And this person may be wanting to come towards you. Definitely your ex. Yeah, look, you're like, I'm done. You're on a major glow up here. You're looking good. You're feeling good. Someone out here could also be a model. That's a confirmation for someone. 
Um, you could be wearing yellow today. That's a confirmation. A lot of yellow. You could be seeing a lot of yellow. Yeah, you're standing. This is like having both masculine and feminine energy. I feel like you're in, you're in your emperor, empress mode, that duality, right? You don't need anybody in the energy that you're in, Cancer. I, I'm getting the feeling like you're just very comfortable right now going it alone. I have to say, this person may have missed their chance. Yeah, I, if this person comes towards you, either they're going to want to start a friendship, you know, that may be how they want to start, right, slowly. But I feel like you may friend zone this person. Because you're doing all right um, out here on your own, okay? Very successful, very strong energy, knowing you don't need anyone. Yeah, the, so this person already realizes you're in this energy. If they don't get moving on this, this connection is going to come to an end. It'll be severed, okay? So they're trying to find a faster way to you because they already know they've left you alone for so long. You don't need them anymore. <laughs> okay, you're happy without them. Um, yeah, you are. Yep, love story. This person's in love with you. I feel like you had a lot of love for this person too, but, you know, love or no love. You're saying goodbye to this connection because it's not giving you anything, Cancer. Um, equally, they may want to say goodbye to this karmic. They, they hate being there, and they definitely don't want to be married to them. Um, but yeah, I feel like love, love story or not, um, it, it feels, for you, it feels more like unrequited love. This person still hasn't come towards you. You know, they're not offering you anything. They're out here possibly getting married to somebody else that they can't stand. So what else are you going to do? I feel like you're going to be ending this cycle here if you don't hear from this person. You know, some of you may, may purchase your own home. Um, I feel like that's kind of a focus for someone is... Um, Growing a business or growing your abundance to the point where you can move and buy your own nest, right? You're, I just feel like you're good on your own and you could be moving away here. All right, just call me the total package. Yeah, you, you're good all on your own, Cancer. You don't need this person. And I feel like um, you're already the total package, just you, right? And... Um, some of you may not even want a relationship right now. You may feel very um, fulfilled all on your own. Um, so, yeah, if this person comes back in, I think you're going to end up friend zoning them. You may not trust them either um, after they've all that they've done, right? Because you know that this person had hidden motives. You know they showed you a poor character, Cancer. They showed you, all this person showed you was that you can't trust them. That's all they really showed you. All right? Give me one last one here. We don't, we don't fear massive change we created. And that's you. You're fearless. Cancer, you've got this fearless empress, emperor energy making boss moves here. Ending this connection, okay, and I feel like you're attracting new things to you as well. So opportunities, abundance, happiness, peace, and possibly a new soulmate connection in the future. Not that you need one. Some of you may not even want a new soulmate connection, okay? Because you know what? You're creating change all on your own in a, in a very fearless way. And as you move forward into your new cycle, a lot of you don't know what to expect. You're fearless anyway. Some of you um, can feel this past person approaching you. Guess what? You're fearless about it. You know, um, you don't have anything else to be afraid of. Everything's already been done to you, Cancer, and it couldn't stop you, and it couldn't bring you down or keep you down. So what else do you have to be afraid of? Uh, that's why I feel like everything, every, everybody's done their most to you, Cancer, and now you're free from all of that karmic stuff, all of the spiritual attacks, every, anybody who wanted to see you down. So you know what? You're free. 
and I feel like you're moving on. And I, as for some of you, you're making an actual house move or you've already moved and you've already set up your nest. Okay. Yeah. And you're going to start approaching the world in a fearless way. You know, no matter what people did to you, Cancer, they couldn't keep you down. And that's how you're approaching your life now, in that strong, intense emperor, empress energy, and absolutely fearless, yes. But just know this, your person, <laughs> wherever you've moved to, I think they're going to try to come and move in your direction. They may want to try to get as close to you as possible. They could even be watching you online. Anything that you're posting, whatever you're putting out there, they're watching you closely like a fly on the wall. Okay, so yeah, get ready. I uh, Honestly, I feel like this person's going to get themselves unstuck because they know that staying in the karmic situation that makes them miserable and unhappy is not the way that they want to live the rest of their life. They are not going to stop thinking about you until, you know, they talk to you and see if they have a chance. Okay? So, yeah, Cancer, it's... Uh, I feel like as, as you move away, they're trying to move closer to you. Okay? Energetically and physically. Anyway, my darlings, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates, Cancer. Uh, like and subscribe to the, to the channel if you like this vibe, right? Yes. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.